Hey friends, Mrs. B here, and I am going to be doing your SRS for Lesson 118, as well as a passage to go with our new blend SL. This is one you may have seen before, but we are going to use it again because it uses a lot of that SL sl sound. All right, here's our story. Ned's, remember it's got that apostrophe S, so it's got to have that S the end. Ned's sled. Ned has a red sled. It is a big red sled. Ned had his sled at the top of the hill. The hill was slick. Ned sat on his red sled. The sled slid on the slick hill. Whiz, whiz, whiz. Whiz, whiz, whiz. whiz. All right, I want you to take a moment, pause the video, and read this to your grown-up. All right, welcome back, and we are ready to do our words we read. All right, so we're going to start over here with our review words, and then as we do our SL words, we will type them so that we can sound them out together. All right, here is the first Review word, sp, i, n, spin, sn, i, p, snip, sm, ack, smack, sk, i, p, skip, t, a, p, tap, b, a, sk, Bask, hot, hot. All right, our SL words that we're going to read are the first one. My caps lock is off. Is this one? Sl, it, slip, sl, ah. Slap. Sl a m slam. I want you guys to try this one. Sl i m slim. Try this one. Sl i k slick. And this one. Sl a k slack. Sl a sh slush. I like to drink a slushy. Sl a sloth. All right, let's read those all together. Start at the bottom and move up. That is complete opposite of how we read. Normally we start top to bottom, but we're going to start bottom to top. Sloth, sloth. Slush, slush. Slack, slack. Slick, slick. Slim, slim. Slim. Slam, sl a p, slap, sl i p, slip. Very good. All right, our last part today is our S R S. All right, I thought I had that resized, but it did not resize itself. So give me just one second to do that. I don't have a pause on this recording thing. So, all right, we are going to start by putting our name at the top. 
and make sure you are starting your name with a capital. And then using lowercase letters. I think most of us are doing that now. So let's keep that up. And I apologize, I left my mouse at home. And my writing is much messier without my mouse. All right, our first sound that I want us to write is sp, sp. S-P, spill, sp. Our next one is sk, sk. S-K, sk. Sn, like snail. S and snail, sn. Like thumb. T H thumb. E. E edge a. Uh. Sm like smash. In our classroom, we call it the Hulk smash. So these are our Hulk letters. S M smash. Sm St, st, like fist, st, sh, 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 ship, sh, what about, like off, f, f, at the end of a one-syllable word, after a short vowel, make sure you double that F. Ah, ah, a apple ah. I, I, I itch I. And my last one is ol, like hill. L L Hill O. Okay, I apologize for my messiness. Apparently, I'm going wild even with my finger writing. All right. So for my new sound, it's that sl like sled. That's why we read Ned sled. S L slide sl. S L slide sl. S L slide sl. All right, at the bottom, my first word I want you to spell is slam. Slam. Do not slam the door. Sl. Ah. Mmm. Slam. The next one is slip. Slip. Sl. S L S L E P The next one is slick. Outside it might be slick. Sl E K. Why did Mrs. B put the C K at the end? Because this is a one syllable word and that I is a short vowel. So I have to have that CK to protect that I from ever having to change his name. And the last one is slush. Slush. Sl. A. Uh, All right, my memory word is our review word from yesterday. It is the word more. M O R E more. Notice that O R or 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 got in there. M O R E more. M O R E more. M O R E more. 
Now cover up what you've written and don't look at my screen and try to write that in the check mark line on your own. M-O-R-E more. My review words, the number two. How do I write the number two? T-W-O. That's the number two. And the last one is look. L-O-O-K. Look. All right. While you are finishing that up, I'm going to write my cops to the side so I can remember. And then up at the top, I'm going to put my three choices. Or my punctuation remarks. Remember, my punctuation marks are a period. If it is a telling sentence, I want to know that that is a period. If it's a really excited sentence because you're excited about something, it's an exclamation point. And if I'm asking you something, it's a question mark. All right. So here is my sentence. He will slip and fall. Listen to that sentence again. He will slip and fall. Okay, repeat that sentence back to me and let's count the words. He will slip and fall. You should have counted five words. So I want you to pause the sentence, pause this SRS. I want you to write that sentence and then when you are ready, unpause it. He will slip and fall. Pause down, write your sentence. All right, you should have written your sentence and it should have been five words. First word, he. That is a sight word, so I should know that. He will. Finger space. And will is a sight word. He will slip. Sl I Okay, I've run out of room, so I've got to go down to my next line. And, that's a sight word, fall. And I know A-L-L-A-L-L, all, all, all. He will slip and fall. I think I'm just telling you, if you go on the ice, you're going to slip and fall. I'm going to go with a period. So, did I start with a capital? You betcha. Are they in order? He will slip and fall. Yep. Punctuation. I've got a period on there and it makes sense that it's a period. And does my sentence make sense? And is it in sequence? He will slip and fall. All right. That's it for today, boys and girls. If at any time you need to, you can go back and rewind it and pause it where you need to catch up. Um, other than that, have a great day and we'll see you later.